Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the last video in my Valentine's Day tutorial series. I really hope you all have enjoyed this series. I've had so much fun making all of these tumblers and getting in the mood for Valentine's Day. I will be doing a lot more of these series on my channel throughout the year, so be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna turn notifications on so you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video, you can hit the bell icon down below and that will let you know when I'm uploading. For this tutorial, we're going to make a really simple and classic Valentine's Day stripe tumbler. I'm gonna use some new vinyl from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. If you've been in the community a while, you'll know that Susanna from Glamour Tribe Customs is amazing. She's so creative. She does all these really, really wonderful designs and she sells vinyl now. So I am so excited to announce that I'll be working with her. I will have a discount code Mallory10 that you can use on any of your orders at GlamourTribeVinyl.com. I really hope you all enjoy this tutorial. As always, if you do, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Again, make sure you're subscribed. And if you'd like more exclusive content from me, you can join my mentorship group, MBMM Elite. In that group, I provide a bunch of additional content. I do lives in our Facebook group. We do live classes on Zoom. I give out digital files. We do cup swaps. All kinds of amazing stuff happens in that group. So if you'd like to join the Elite fam, you can go to madebymannyandmal.com slash MBMM Elite. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's go. For this stripe design, we're going to use a 32 ounce plump tumbler. And then this is one that is already prepped. So I'm literally just gonna take the lid off and go right into my work. So first we're going to pop off the bottom so that we can do a little booty on here. So to do that, I'm gonna take a small flathead screwdriver and a hammer, and I'm gonna wedge that screwdriver in between the like cap on the bottom and the cup and just basically hammer it in until it wedges underneath the cap and then you can just pop that off. It's super duper easy. So we'll deal with that a little bit later. And now what we're going to do is measure our tumbler so that we can figure out how big our stripes are going to be. So what I wanna do here is three stripes because we have three sheets of pattern vinyl, but I also wanna do a little glitter stripe in between each of our vinyl stripes. So our tumbler is 10 and a half inches tall and we wanna do like three sets of stripes. So I'm gonna do 10 and a half divided by three and that's gonna give us three and a half inches. So we're gonna do our vinyl stripes at three inches and then our glitter stripes at half an inch to make things really, really easy. The three patterns I'm going to use, again, are from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. We're gonna use Valentine's 4, Valentine's 5, and Valentine's 6. And these are like a almost 3D embroidered style vinyl. All of the colors match perfectly and they all coordinate really, really well together. And I just had to use them all on a tumbler. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is measuring each of my stripes at three inches and just making a mark with my Sharpie. For the knit pattern, I decided to go horizontally with the knit instead of vertically. Of course, you can do it any way you want. And once I've got all of those measured, I'm just gonna put them in my paper trimmer and cut our stripes out that way. Of course, if you want to, you can use your cutting machine and do like your you know, three by 11 and a half wide or whatever, but it was really easy just to measure and mark them and then cut them in my paper trimmer. So once I had my stripes all cut, I had to decide what I wanted to do with the order. I knew I wanted the knit pattern in the middle and then I decided to do the roses on top and then the hearts on the bottom. So the way that we're going to map this out is with some half inch painters tape. I wanted to make sure it was actually half an inch so I didn't get this whole thing wrong. I got this in a pack from Amazon and I will link it down below in the description box for you. It's just really cheap painters tape that's perfect for things like this. So starting at the bottom of my tumbler, I'm gonna take that painters tape and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom rim and that's gonna be our first glitter stripe. So I wanted to do the glitter on the bottom of the tumbler so that we have a nice continuous flow from glitter on the tumbler to glitter on the bottom of the tumbler rather than having like a harsh vinyl ending at the bottom of the tumbler, if that makes sense. I wanted to do glitter on the bottom and then we'll work our way up. Once we've got that first half inch stripe on, we'll go in with our first vinyl stripe. So I'm using the heart pattern for the very bottom. And I'm going to cut away a little bit of the backing as you can see there, maybe like an inch of the backing. And I'm gonna wrap the vinyl around the cup, trying to get this as straight and as lined up as possible. Now it really doesn't have to be like super perfect. 
but of course you want your vinyl to be as straight and lined up as you can get it because that'll just make this entire process easier. But sometimes, you know, you just like can't get it straight and that's okay. You can always cut off the excess if it doesn't line up perfectly. It's not the end of the world, just do your best. Using the felt edge of my vinyl scraping tool, I'm going to push the vinyl onto the tumbler. This will push the backing away in the process. So really your tool is doing all of the work for you. You just have to gently and firmly at the same time somehow, <laughs> push the vinyl onto the tumbler, just rotating it as you can see there. And once you get around to the other side, you can cut off the excess. But I found that using the squeegee, as you guys know, you've seen me do vinyl wraps a ton of times, but I feel like the squeegee just really helps prevent bubbles and wrinkling and all of those issues that come with wrapping vinyl on cups. So that's the method I prefer. But of course, if you have an easier way or a way that works better for you, do that. Now, after that first stripe is laid down, we can take that same piece of painter tape that we used for the bottom stripe, remove it and place it on top of this vinyl stripe so that we can map out our second glitter stripe. Of course, if you want to use new pieces of tape every time you can, but you can just remove that stripe at that point because you don't really need it to be masked off anymore. So I'm going to take it off and then replace it right on top of that pattern vinyl. That's going to map out the second glitter stripe that we're going to do. And then we can go in with our second vinyl stripe, which is the kind of knit sweater pattern. And again, I'm going to do this horizontally around the tumbler. So the same process, I'm going to cut away a little bit of the backing, make sure that this is lined up straight, and then I'll use my vinyl squeegee to push the vinyl onto the cup. One thing I completely did not even think about was lining up the seams. So the seam for our hearts and the seam for our middle stripe are not at all in the same place. But luckily, I did a really good job lining up the seam for the knit pattern in the middle and you really can't see it. So for this top stripe, I'm just going to be really conscious and try to line up the seam with that bottom stripe so that we at least have two out of three in the same spot. Now again, we're gonna do the exact same process for that final stripe. So I took the painter's tape from the middle stripe and placed it on top of the middle stripe to mask that off. And now I'm taking my final pattern stripe, placing that on the cup the exact same way I did the other two. I'm gonna cut off the excess from the seam and then I'll take the excess that's at the top. We have just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna pull that tightly up over the top rim to give us a really clean and crisp seam up there at the top. Once we have our vinyl stripes in place, we can go through and do our glitter stripes. So with some regular painter's tape, I'm going to tape off the bottom seam or the, and the top seams, I guess, of our pattern vinyl to mask those off so that we can paint and glitter the glitter stripes in between the pattern vinyl stripes. I went through my glitter collection and tried to find three colors that would match the vinyl like as well as I could. So I picked out Knuckles, Pinky Promise, and Nookie, all from Peachy Olive Glitters. And honestly, I'm pretty proud with how well they match. <laughs> so what we're going to do is a kind of like a gradient stripe up or like a, not gradient, I guess, but we're going to do one stripe for each glitter color. Of course, if you want to do all of your stripes the same color, you absolutely can. There are no rules to this. You can literally do whatever you want, but I thought it would be fun to incorporate a bunch of different colors that are all in the vinyl anyway, and just to like make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm going through with my acrylic paint and I'm going to base paint each stripe to match the glitter. So we're going to do the red on the bottom, pink in the middle, and then the white on the top. And I am going to do two coats of paint. So I'm 
trying to not use a ton of paint like I normally do and just use the amount of a regular person, but that's really hard for me. So I'm going to do one thin coat and then wait about maybe 20 minutes for that to dry. And then I'll go in with a second coat and we can apply the glitter. To apply our glitter, I'm going to use UV resin. This one is from Counterculture DIY. I'm just going to put a little bit on each of those stripes, spread it out with my glove, and then we'll go in and apply our glitter from darkest to lightest. So starting with knuckles at the very bottom, I'm just going to sprinkle that all over. And I am going to do the very bottom of the cup too, like that bottom rim before the glitter booty area starts. And then we'll fill in the rest when we finish the bottom of the cup, obviously. So there's our red. Next, I'm gonna go in with Pinky Promise, which is the pink in the middle. And then finally, we'll finish off with Nookie, which is the white on the top. Immediately after glittering, before we cure these stripes in front of the UV lamp, I'm going to go through and remove all of my tape. We want to ensure that none of the UV resin cures with the tape on it. That'll just make it really hard to peel up later, so I'm going to peel this up right away. And then I'm going to put my cup on my turner in front of my UV lamp for probably about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that that UV resin is cured before we move on to our next steps. I will put a link for the UV lamp that I like to use down below in the description box. It's literally one of my most favorite things that I've bought to use for tumbler making. So I'll have a link down below for that. And once our UV resin is cured, we can move on and start to work on our glitter booty. I'm also going to use UV resin for the glitter booty. You can use regular epoxy, but I'm impatient and I just like the immediate gratification of UV resin. <laughs> So I've got knuckles mixed in with a little cup of UV resin. I've got about maybe five to seven milliliters of the UV resin mixed in with the glitter. Now knuckles obviously is the same color that we used on the bottom of the tumbler because we want that continuity. So I'm going to pour this on the outer rim of that glitter booty. And then for the middle, I mixed up a little bit of Pinky Promise, but I actually decided to do a vinyl bottom on the tumbler like at the last minute. So that all got covered up. So if you wanted to just put like plain UV resin in there to even the bottom out, you can. If you want to not even remove the bottom of the tumbler and just glitter it like normal, if you want to finish off the bottom with vinyl, you can do that as well. I just kind of changed my mind mid design process and just went with it. Now that our glitter booty is done and our UV resin for our glitter is all cured, we can go through and seal the glitter before we epoxy over the tumbler. So I'm taking my favorite sealer, which is a one-to-one -one ratio, so 50-50 mix of the Crystalac glitter glue and regular old tap water. And I'm just going to apply that, as you can see here, with a thin little brush, just brushing it over the glitter spots. If you want to seal your vinyl with the same mixture, you absolutely can, but there's really no point in sealing your vinyl. Um, so I would rather just save the magic mix and <laughs> only seal the glitter sections. But of course, feel free to seal the vinyl too if you want to. I'm gonna let this sealer dry for at least two hours and then I'm going to go in and apply two coats of epoxy to the tumbler. I'm using my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy. So I'm waiting about probably six hours in between each coat and each coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters. Once those two coats are cured, our cup is really smooth because the glitters we used are a finer cut. We don't need to do a ton of sanding, if any sanding at all at this point, but if your glitters are a little bit rough or if you used a chunkier cut of glitter, you can do a round of sanding here, wash your cup with dish soap and water, and then move into the next step. So because I don't need to do any of those things right now, I'm gonna move right into my vinyl striping. For the first layer of vinyl striping, I'm gonna use this really pretty champagne matte metallic -y 
gold vinyl. This is from TechRap Craft and I cut these stripes at 0 0.01 inches in width and I made them 11 and a half inches long which is kind of like my standard default length for all of my striping and I'm just going to put those in between each of our vinyl and glitter stripes. So for this tumbler design you'll need to cut five stripes out. Now for a little bit of extra added detail, we're going to do another layer of striping over those champagne stripes. So I'm taking my colorful pearl pink vinyl from TechRap Craft and I cut these stripes out at 0 0.006 inches in width. So they're just a little bit bigger than half the size of the champagne ones that we put down. And I'm gonna put those down right on top of the champagne ones. Just to give a little bit of extra something. You definitely don't have to do this, but I always really love the look of like a double stripe. So I decided to do that. Like I said earlier, I decided to do a little bit of a different bottom on this tumbler. After doing the glitter booty, I really didn't like how the knuckles in the outer ring kind of flooded a little bit too much. It just looked messy to me, so I decided to do a vinyl bottom instead. So I took that rose pattern and cut out a, I think I made it a little bit bigger than two inch circle. So I cut that out, put that in the middle area of the bottom, and then I cut out an outline of a circle out of that same colorful pearl pink vinyl that we used for the top layer of our striping. And I'm going to basically outline this circle to fill in that bottom a little bit more, just make it look a little bit more clean and finished, a little bit more professionally than that messy glitter booty that we had before. Now I know this is not perfectly centered, but it looks okay to me and you know, it's handmade, so. That's just the way it is. So once I had the booty of the tumbler all finished, I added my final two coats of epoxy and that's it, we are all done. So here is the final tumbler design. I really, really love how this turned out. All of the colors ended up working so well together. And this vinyl from Glamour Tribe Vinyl is absolutely beautiful. So I will link that down below for you to go check out. She's got a ton of amazing and really, really unique patterns. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget to use code Mallory10 to save 10% off your purchase. I really hope you all enjoyed this Valentine's Day series. Again, this will not be the last series that you see on my channel this year. I've got so many more coming to you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. As always, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the elite fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my elite fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.